I'm the only one here, everybody. Good morning. Yes, it is. Wow, the sun isn't even really that exposed yet. Why am I up this early doing this? Because I get to meet my friend Linda. I'm so excited. Uh, yes. So we're going to meet early in the morning. And that way we can go and by the time we're done, it's still going to be super early and the day will already, you know, have so many things for us to do and our health and God will be put first. You see? And great friendships and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's do it, guys. I'm going to do an hour. Hey, there I am. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Yes, we're still going strong, everybody. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, there's been a little flame, actually a big flame, whew, right under my tail, we'll say. And we're just going, man. This whole health thing. I went totally crazy on my um, daughter's birthday with the pizza. Woo! Did I pay for it that night? Oh, it wasn't good. So, you know, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like the little training of seeing, you know, at least say, is that really worth it? Maybe it is, but to me, I'm not so sure. So I'm, I'm waiting for her, but while I wait, whistle while you wait. It's really crisp with a coolness to it. The sun is now coming up, honey. Woo! Yes, and I don't know. I don't know. Let's get busy. Let's do this. All right. Someone's showing up right now, but it ain't her. Let's say good morning to the birdies. You know, there's something really special about the morning hours when it comes to exercise and greeting the day and and talking to God. It's just so special. You know, I'm listening to Marion. If you look up Marion hymns, Marion meaning his mom, our mom in heaven, the Blessed Mother. Um, yeah, and just really praising her and worshiping the Lord through it all and letting the sun come up. Oh my gosh, stop it. There's the sun. Oh my goodness. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Do, 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 do. So I am going to pray the rosary right now, you know, give our lady what she asked for. She said, pray the rosary every day. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, birdies. May God bless you and St. Francis pray for you. I love you. You know, when people say that they don't like religion and they don't like organized prayer, it's the organized prayer that the, the forefathers before us and even God himself through the Hail Mary, Jesus with the Our Father, these keep us on track. You see, Cause sometimes we don't know what to pray for. So I love getting that done in the morning. So that way there, the rest of my prayers, of course I, own, I say words out of my, my own heart and my own mouth. But when people say, oh, you know, you, you, you know that, that's not really coming from your heart. Well, if you're not thinking of meditating upon it, then yeah, you're right. 
but get in touch with it, you know? It's so beautiful. And as I was walking, I was looking up over there and I was like, wow, like I appreciate. The Bible does say that like, this is not our everlasting home. Heaven is. And I was just like, wow, like th if this was my last day here, like I would really, cause this is all we know is this planet. And so I would miss it, even though it has its sorrows and its hardships and its trials, I would miss it. And therefore I was like, well, ha perfect love casts out fear. You know, and it's like, well, how come I've appreciated things before and I was still really scared, you know, because that perfect love is truly appreciating it. And I'm noticing that just that appreciation and trusting, right? I wake up and I say, Lord, I don't know how my life is going to end up. You know, I don't know, Lord, but you're my husband because he says he's the husband of the widows and you're the husband so you have to figure it out what's the plan you know what are you going to do so that that really frees me up from worrying you know and that this is my home for now you know and i must appreciate it i'm so excited and i'm, I'm sharing this with you in case you're not there and you want to be Linda just texted, she didn't come, but she said, are you still there? Now see, I would be here normally in another 15 minutes and I only have another 15 minutes to go. That means I have an extra hour to make my coffee, wash the dishes, look at my bills. That part's always thrilling. And, um, you know, take the cat for a walk. Uh, he's got to get out too, get some fresh air and water my new garden. I gotta try to fix the hose. See, we're doing it. We're doing it, everybody, we're pressing through. And then while we're doing all of our things, God is doing something else. Oh yeah, he's got great things. Even when we have our trials, he's doing great things, you know? Hey, Birdie, good morning. God bless you, I love you. So using this bench, to stretch don't forget to stretch uh, if you're not stretching like don't stretch a cold muscle go for your walk whatever you're doing and like 10 minutes into it stretch a little you know I usually wait till like 15 20 and then I, I give a good stretch out on the track and then after oh my gosh I just love I don't know if you can see just push my hip needs a lot of stretching you know I'm like why is my hip hurting? Gee, I wonder. It's not because I'm carrying around a lot of weight. So I want to relieve those muscles by losing the weight, feeding it uh, glucosamine sulfate, glucosamine, glucosamine sulfate, uh, stretching, getting the muscles around it stronger and chiropractor care and I love it, I love it. Feeding it all kinds of nutrition. I'm just so sick of doing my body a bad thing. I literally was falling apart slowly, you know? And now that I'm 53, I really want to be the best 53 that I can be, slowly but surely, you see? And I, I sit here never to be like, come on, you should do it. Yeah, of course. However, it always is, um, I'm just here for encouragement, you know? We all need it and it's so important. Don't make excuses and justify it, okay? People, they wanna say like, well, I'm depressed because, yes, it comes to us sometimes, you know? And uh, it just does and we have to fight it. And by looking at it and recognizing, sitting with it, you know, but we wonder why we have aches and pains, you know? You could probably clean up your diet even more. Just saying. All 
um, how the sun is coming up every time I go around higher and higher, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> what am I gonna eat? And now, oh my gosh, you know what I love now? Are the figs. Oh my they are so delicious and they're so packed with nutrition. We have them. So there's my friend Linda. I had to go to the restroom. So I'm over the time that I, uh, it's been now an hour and 15 minutes. So hey, get to spend time with my friend. Iron sharpens iron. Ah, boy, that was over an hour and like 35 minutes or more. So I'm excited about that. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I want coffee right now and I'm like, you know what? Let, I'm actually craving now, normally I don't eat till noon unless I go somewhere that I know I'm not gonna be home and then I'll eat. However, most days it is noon with that fasting, but I'm saying to myself, instead of coffee, why don't I make an amazing fruit drink and see how that goes? Cause I'm kinda wanting it, you know, after a nice workout, something with a lot of color, hydration. I, I know water is hydrating, yes, of course. And that's what we'll do right now. Sippy, sippy. Ah, gonna go meet my mother, have a fruit drink, get the day going. It's only 8.07, woo! Hey, Mr. Mister, he's looking at all the deliciousness. Now you better eat your, your breakfast. I put spinach and dill in there for you, honey. Okay, so I'm running low on fruit, but I have the, it's not looking so hot, is it? My dragon fruit, beautiful. They're so ready, man. And so I'm gonna put some of that in there, dragon fruit. I would say some lemon, it looks kind of cruddy because I always peel it, you know. And I learned that lime helps with brain cells. So let's do that. And some kiwi, let's do it. You like that, Mr. Kitty? Do you want some kiwi? I can put it in your food too. We have to be careful because Cats are meat eaters, and that means that when we're throwing a whole bunch of other things in there, that we have to be careful because they don't always have the right things in their belly to break it down. So we gotta be careful. I am doing something that I don't normally do. And you know what else? Oh yes. Let's put some, I already have this, so let's put some pea protein in there. And let us put the wheatgrass in there. Get some vegetables in the morning too. I always use the magic bullet. I am not promoting this for their sake, but we love it. It's awesome. It just gives you just that one little yourself serving. You know, I'm so glad I used the Lose It app because it really showed me how much food I ought to be taking in um, for me. And then it's so cool because like I did that for a long time and then now I'm not doing that. Uh, just to see as a test, right? I am the world's guinea pig. I want to see if eating all these fruits and vegetables actually brings down my cholesterol level levels. I am pre-diabetic, so let's check it out um, when it comes time to go to the doctor. And potassium, this has 400, the coconut water in one, uh, eight ounces, one cup. Uh, potassium, 10%. So 470 milligrams of vitamin C, 14, phosphorus, 14, magnesium. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. You know, I'm looking into that this girl, she, she actually drinks straight up cane juice, which is sugar, right? From the actual sugar like she goes, she's in Hawaii and this guy, he makes it for her and like he sells it. And uh, I'm like, wow. Like the only thing that I get scared of is like if, if, sugar, if cancer eats sugar, you know, I'm like, mm -hmm. but everything inside your body gets broken down into sugar. Anyway, your, your body needs sugar to live. That's what it converts every single solitary thing that you eat into. So there's my coconut water. It's so weird that I'm even doing that. It's just awkward. All right, and this fancy thing 
is a dragon fruit. All right, it's really cool looking. It doesn't, to me, it has like no flavor, but I will show you the, the wonderfulness of it all, actually. Here you go. Like, look, isn't that cool? Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. All right, so let me go make this baby. And then watch me glow, honey. It's just, you know, I want this inside here. I want this to make me shiny and new. You know what I mean? I wanted to show you, I just took off this part, the outside here. And normally I would think that I would want to take this off, the red, but I'm not going to because I know that it must offer. You like that? I know that it must offer some nutrients. So I'm going to put that in there too. Woo. Oh yeah. And when I put the lemon in, I don't just put the lemon juice. I put, I put a good chunk of lemon in there. See, even the outside. Oh, it smells so good. This with the lime. Whoa. Like what is going on around here? All right. It's not even nine o'clock yet. So yeah. Do your body. Do your body good, you know, and you might not be able to do it right away um, to a, a, a major extent, although we want to get there eventually. You know, we might say, well, I don't want to cheat myself. You know, that's a famous saying, you know, I don't want to cheat myself. So you're going to go eat really poorly. Like, does that make sense? It's not logical, like at all. Oh yeah. Woo. Nice. See how shiny and hydrated it's going to make you? Plus all the, vi the nutrients that are in there. Love it. So the mindset has to change, right? I talked to you about this. I know it might be so weird, right? Like I was not like this before. I know I am. It's like, what am I doing to you guys? I'm telling you, I'm helping you. That's what I'm doing. Oh yeah. I never, yeah, I normally don't have fruit shakes and things, but you know what? This morning I was like thinking about it. I'm like, you know what? Let me do that. Yeah, and now the kiwi, I think this is a Mexican one. My friend Linda gave it to me. And so, it's so good. See? Nice. See, shiny hydration plus all the wonderful nutrients it comes with. <laughs> I love it. Let's put that in there. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm just like pampering myself. Like, don't bring me to a spa. Bring me to the fruits and vegetables. That is a spa all by itself. All right, before I add my powder stuff, I wanna see how this goes. All right, are we ready? Smells citrusy. I love when it has the pieces in there. I appreciate that. I'm going to make this colder because it's not with ice. You know what we top this off with? Chunks of coconut. And I thought of that and I'm like, wait a minute. I can, I can, I can imagine coconut. And I'm like, well, yeah, Lisa, you just use coconut water. Like, hello. And, but really like the chunks of it. My kids hate it when I say chunks. I'm going to go get a fancy straw. I'll be right back. Here's my fancy straw. All right, ready? I would love to open my mouth to show you all the the pulp. That's what you want. You know, when I was growing up, I hated the pulp and like orange juice. I was, I was like, oh, now that I am knowledgeable, that's what we want. I don't want something smooth necessarily. Um, so now I'm going to add the powders just for added goodness. Hmm. It tastes beautiful. It's going to change the flavor. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's so good. It's so citrusy. Oh, I'm on a beach right now. 
Mm hmm in my head. Mm hmm The sun is shining. I smell seaweed, the fish, the sun, the goodness, the palm trees. Mm -hmm. mm. I have to chew my drink, you know? All right, I'm doing the greens. I'm just gonna change it. I don't wanna mess it up. I'm only gonna do half a cup, a half a, I'll do a half a scoop just to get that added goodness in there, okay? That's the wheatgrass. Wheatgrass to me is so addicting. It is. It has like a real earthy flavor to it. You might hate it, but once you get past the hate, it's like all of a sudden you, you have this like love. All right, we're gonna add chocolate pea protein. I hope it doesn't change the flavor too much. Maybe it'll make it like, like, oh. All right, ready? Here we go. You know what I think it is? I'm sitting here and I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm hearing myself talk. Like I'm talking out loud to myself and I'm like, hmm. I'm like, so this food, it just wipes away anything horrible that you might be thinking or feeling. It actually seems to be putting me into an excited mode like all the time. You know what I mean? I'm not walking around like mm, depressed and you know, I miss my husband and I'm just, I'm just like, I, I, I feel really wonderful. That's what it is. My friends make me feel wonderful, everybody. Let's try it, just try it, it's so good. I go wherever he wants, yeah. It looks so pretty. This was not here a couple, well, not even like a week ago. And I watched it grow slowly with the leaves. There it is. It's gonna be a nice little hideaway in there. The nice thing about growing different things in your yard that come back every year, this is mint. And I'm just like, I remember going out with my um, friend Peter and my, my kids and we were having, they were having dessert. And on the top of the dessert was this mint. And I was just like, I actually delighted in eating the mint. It was, it was truly like a dessert. And so I'm, I'm like sitting here going little bites. And I'm like, wow, the texture of the leaf is very soft and there is substance to it. And it just leaves your breath feeling like you're chewing gum. And it's just so good. And I know it comes with its own nutrients too. So I just looked it up and digestive help and immunity so like when you get a cold you know you drink a peppermint tea right it has that and for allergic reactions you know it was talking about oh my gosh there's just like so many it just go the list goes on and on I i'm so thrilled I honestly don't mind all the noise in the background they just started to clean up across the street so the thing is mist is getting his greens too and his nutrition when he's eating all that grass for digestion you know See how greens help. And he's getting his exercise. He's getting fresh air for his lungs. He is getting the sunshine. He's loving it. Right, mister? Oh, there's the mint. Let's grab some. Oh, oh, look at that. Is that not the most beautiful thing you ever did see? Oh, lovely. Oh, mister, you're on the hunt for something, huh? What you looking for, Mr. Kitty? Do you see a chipmunk or something? What do you see? Are you seeing the birdie? Oh, you see the birdie.